So what do you get when you get a mix between Kill Bill, Bad Times of the Ariel, and John Wick? Well, you get Gunpowder Milkshake, one of the best films of the year, and what can I say, I think it's fucking awesome. Gunpowder Milkshake is directed by Navot Papashado, and it's a very stylistic film. In many ways, this is a film that has more style than it does story, but I love all the actresses. It stars Karen Gillan, Lena Headey, Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett, and Carla Gugino, in addition to Paul Giamatti. It has an all-star cast, and it's pretty much a basic story. Karen Gillan is an assassin, and we get a little bit of flashbacks at the beginning with Lena Headey being her mother. She hasn't seen her mother in 15 years, and she ended up growing up with this organization called The Firm, which is pretty much kind of like the organization in John Wick. So, she's a paid for hire assassin, and someone stole The Firm's money, and she has to go after it. Afterwards, chaos ensues and one thing leads to another. That's pretty much the basic story without giving away any spoilers. What can I say? This is an all-female movie. It's a really kick-ass movie. The beginning is a bit slow and you're kind of wondering, where is this going? But when the action kicks in, it's all you can ever ask for. And if you're a fan of action films, I highly recommend seeing this film on Netflix or in select cinemas where available. I love Karen Gillan. You know, she was in Guardians of the Galaxy and Jumanji, but she really shines here and I think is the breakout star of this film as this female assassin. I haven't seen a character this ferocious since The Bride and Kill Bill, and I absolutely enjoy seeing the action scenes here. It does also have a bit of humor. In many ways, it's almost like a comedy in unexpected moments. Lena Headey, of course, I'm a huge fan of hers. Before Game of Thrones, she was on Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles in 300. She kicks ass here. Michelle Yeoh, uh, Angela Bassett, and Carla Gugino. I love the dynamic these women have as these librarians. They are pretty much work at a library, which is pretty much a front for an armory. They have all these weapons inside books. It's very cartoonish. It's very stylized. And because of that, does Gunpowder Milkshake go the furthest it can go? No, it has a brilliant premise, but it doesn't exactly go all the way in like you're expecting. It kind of scratches the surface of what these characters are capable of. And maybe, perhaps, it does leave it open for a sequel. But I'd say what it does do, it does provide a lot of action entertainment. So if you're a fan of action movies, I think you're going to have a great time seeing this on Netflix one Saturday. It's very stylized, much in the vein of Bad Times at the Ariel and Drive. I really love the look of this film. It has that kind of like 80s, 2010s neon light vibe. So if I had to give Gunpowder Milkshake a score, I would give it a 4 out of 5. Is it the best movie it possibly could have been? No, but I'm not expecting an Oscar movie. This is an action movie, and a fun one at that. An adrenaline high octane ride from start to finish. If you're a fan of films like Kill Bill or John Wick, like I said earlier, I think you're going to highly enjoy this film. This is one of my favorite films of the year and I highly recommend seeing it. Anyway, you can follow me at Fred Film Fanatic on Instagram and subscribe and check out these videos for more content. Till next time everyone, stay safe and healthy.